Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about solid design principle. First of all, we need to understand what is the difference between solid design principle and design pattern. Solid design principle provides high level guidelines to design better software application. Means that uh, solid principle, once you are going to create any project or application, you have to follow that particular rules. But for design pattern provides lower level solution related to implementation of a commonly occurring object oriented problems. In other words, design pattern suggests a specific implementation for the specific object oriented programming problems. It's like that so if you have a class and you want to create only one object for a particular class. So what uh, you have to follow? You have to follow that singleton design pattern. But first of all, we will understand what is a solid design principle. Solid design principle are the design principle that enable us to manage with the most of the software design problem. This principle provides us a way to move from a tightly coupled code and little encapsulation to the design result to a loosely coupled and encapsulated real needs of business problem. So in the solid acronym is the first S is that single responsibility principle. In this video we are going to learn the single responsibility principle. The single responsibility principle states that each software modules or class should have one reason to change. In other words, we can say that each modules or class should have one responsibility to do. So it means it's not means that one class should have one responsibility. You can say that one class should have one responsibility. It doesn't mean like that ki one class should have only one method or one properties. It will depend upon the your situation just like a just take example of an employee class so employee class have add update delete and sending mail and validation is there so you cannot write all those things in a one class because in that employee have a functionality to add edit and delete that is the one functionality for the particular employee class but rest of them just like a validation if you say that and if you are going to create one log. So that one you have to uh, create another class for that. Let's take example just create a new console application that a new project and select Windows C Sharp and console app. Just I'm going to write name is that single responsibility principle press ok now that console application is creating yeah it's created just I'm going to create one class that is a employee class okay so employee class I'm going to write going to create method that is a add employee right or you can say that another one will be there like a delete employee delete employee Then next one I'm going to create one class that is a send mail. I'm going to write some functionality like a try catch. Okay. So here I'm going to write something exception. Ex. So that's I'm going to write something in file. Uh, just like you uh, can write mm, file that or write output text I 
of the write all text system dot rf now to write ex dot message same thing i'm going to do in a delete employee and you can say that that is a for mailing so here this one this particular employee class is violating the rule of a single responsibility principle because if you will look clearly in that employee class have many responsibility first one is that add employee delete employee because this one you can uh, call it's a one responsibility only because it, there is no other class will be used that uh, add employee and delete employee because this for employee, add employee and delete employee will work for employee but second one if you will look that another responsibility is that that we are writing error this one if you will look this one this this is the another responsibility because we are writing the error in that one particular this one is the path some path you can say that abc dot txt here i am going to write but in the future that if a client will ask to change into excel or some database that times so we have to change in every place so this one is should be the one responsibility because this particular that exception log we can use for many many other classes so better this one will make a separate and another one is that send mail it's not like that's so only that send mail that imply class will use this one will use by another class just like if you are going to create that student class there also we can use this functionality so that's why this one you can say that this is that another functionality means another responsibility so this we can make a so how we can do that one we can make a separate of this particular this class and we can make a separate of a this class so it will be good so then that times we will have to use that single responsibility principle so what we will do we will create for logger so going to create one interface that's a public interface that will be the i logger then next going to create a method that will be the error void error that will be the one is the string message then another one is that exception now we create one class who will implement that i logger that will be the public class logger now create that i logger going to implement that i logger like this okay now another one is that you can see here that for mailing this for send mail so this also it will make a separate it will create that public class mailer write the properties that is a string uh, email from you can say that email to then subject subject then it will be body email body then after that we will create one method that is will be public void void sent mail okay here I'm not going to write the code so here we can write the code send mail code will come here 
right now the same code we will use this same code this one that logger class and middle class i am going to use in that employer so first we will create the constructors tor okay now going to create that object of a miller so first we will write a miller obj miller then create the object in the constructor of employee okay now another one is that i logger then i logger obj logger so here going to create that new logger new logger okay so now we'll see how to use this one so if we will say logger so going to write a logger dot error okay so first will be that error message and second will be the exception that will be the ex dot message dot that will be the exception so only you have to pass that ex only because okay so i'm going to delete this one make a comment and here in the add employee first i will add and then we can send a mail how we'll do that one that is a mailer first we'll write that dot email body like that then email form then email subject then email to okay after that send mail and same thing we'll do this one i will copy and paste it here i am going to delete this one paste it here and this one also is no it's not required because send mail we are using in that here only it add employ okay now this one you can say that it's a single responsibility because everyone every class should have own responsibility just like a, if you say that logger class have own responsibility like to act add that exception and the miller class will that responsibility to send mail and imply class have on responsibility like to add imply and that one this and other responsibility will going to uh, call from that particular class in the next video we will learn that o that for open close principle that will say that open for extension and close for modification I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching.